finish on the LPGA Tour. Yeah, and I tell you what, if she wins this week, she will be the third British player in the space of four weeks to win a tournament on the LPGA, which is an unbelievable stat. Feeding off each other's energy. And that's a little fade down the right-hand side. Catch the fairway. Quite as far as waiters. It'll be a three-shot well, this is our overnight leader earlier today, teeing off the first Momoko waiter, and I can tell you that I was standing right behind that tee shot, and she is sneaky long. It's funny, isn't it? You see the difference. Lynn Grant hits it about 260. She had eight birdies yesterday. This to open her final round with one. Pure. Look out for Lynn. This is the one we know that the players this does move left to right at the hole. Yeah, good part. What a way to start the round, Trish. Yeah. Oh. I think Grant's second shot from perfect position. Just a tiny, she's an enormous drive down there. Absolute miles. It's almost on the down slope. That's... Then Grant to tie the lead at 10. Yeah, you made a very good point, though. She's got three par fives on this back nine, and with her length, she gets that driver boomed out there. There are plenty of here at the Setter Golf Course. And Gemma hit an absolute peach in here yesterday. Oh, she's hit some beautiful iron shots this week. I love her golf swing. It's so efficient. I'm just surprised she's never finished better than fifth on the old PGA Tour. Inside. Perfect position. Just a little flick with a wedge. She likes it as well. Well, they're three beautiful shots. All genuine birdie chances on ten. She's made two birdies in the last two days on ten. It is a tightly packed leaderboard, and this is an important putt now for a wader at ten. <laughs> well, Momoko Wader is coming off a bogey at number nine. When she birdied the fourth hole today, she had a two-shot lead. Now she finds herself one shot in arrears of the outright leader, Gemma. Gets to 12 under par. You had a bet on her or something? <laughs> <laughs> that was a very definite yes. <laughs> I'm just cheering them all on. Some long you are going to feature. You're going to be right in contention. Has it got the line? It was a bit of a wishy-washy stroke, that one. Well, the chasers can breathe a sigh of relief. Driver has the lead by one shot. Coming back for her par. It's well negotiated. So trailing by one, but it is only one. That is a good two putt in the end after nothing to behold. Not an easy fair way to hit this 11th hole either. The Grant second shot. Well, clearly, it's harder to hit an iron than it is to hit a <laughs> hybrid or whatever else that is. Well, this one breaks right to left. Be a very quick putt either. Mm. So good. This to climb to 12 under and be just three off the pace. Oh, and in it goes. Wow, this is a player who has got better every day. She knocked that in rather nonchalantly, and it wasn't an easy putt. Three and a half, four feet. This is a tricky shot. Down the hill. But you're right, she is swinging the club so well today. Everything's just coming off like an absolute bullet. Look at the this. Hole. Look at this. Is this not supposed to be the hardest hole on the golf course? So many of them will have their eyes firmly fixed on this player, Ueda. And the body language suggests it's not one of her best. Ooh. Well, she just to be a little bit stuck on that one. She's looking to become the fourth wire to wire winner this season. Oh, beautiful. There's a few fist pumps going on out there that suggest these players are really getting involved. It's not as good to see. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh 
Oh, and this is not the time to make costly errors like this. You had to say that over the past couple of days, Momoko away to... Matilda Castron is right on the bubble. Top 60 go through, so this is an important part. Oh, beautifully done. So she moves to eight under par, making a real... Up for the grabs for the winner. Well, if she can limit the damage to a bogey, Kate, she's only a couple of shots behind, but mind you... Yeah, this is a massive moment. There's two putts coming up here in the next minute that could really decide this title. You, you kind of felt that was going to happen, the way the hole had gone. Normally, good things don't happen when you've hit two or three bad shots back to back. You don't end up... No, if Gemma Dryberg can hold this putt, this is massive. And she takes full advantage of that exquisite hybrid in. And what we have now is Gemma Driver enjoying a two-shot advantage over... Some 15 yards. Looking to just get this within a two-foot circle. Good roll. Should be good enough to secure her par. Bear in mind, when she was teeing off the ninth hole yesterday, she was at four under par and ten shots behind at that point. She's now 14 under and just two back in second spot. Oh, Trish. I'm, I'm gone. Oh. Nice to see you all. Bye. And look at this, four feet past as well. And all of a sudden, Gemma Driver is going to find herself three shots in front. And there'll be leaderboards out there, so Driver will be aware of that. And this isn't in yet for Lynn Grant. And blemish free this final round. Fast start out in 31, then pars on 10 and 11. But now, this for a bogey at 12. So to drop just the one. This looks to be all over it. And it was. A smart shot. She's just getting through the ball so well. It just looks like, you know, to add impact, she's just in the perfect position every time. And you can see her, she's just holding that. Playing some tremendous golf. This is Gemma Driver's fifth year on tour. 30th in putting average on the LPGA Tour. Normally I'd give that to her, but we saw Lynn Grant miss a similar one just earlier. On 14, Ako Furue. Very quick down here, Kate. And that's why she's second on the LPGA Tour in strokes gained putting. She wants to 11 under par. Read off Gemma Driver's putt. Just tails to the right at the end. Beautifully done from Wader. What a bounce back. Gets her to 13 under par and in a share of second. Also very much in contention, 13 under. Ooh. Ooh. Second on her own, lurking two back. Trish Johnson just stepped out of the commentary. Right in the center of the cup. She continues to impress and those family and friends that are up early in Scotland will be loving the look of this leaderboard. A little bit of check, just let it release down. Good for distance. Wow, and that really did release. And that was beautifully judged. I think all of us thought when she hit that, maybe she's left that 10 foot short, but it just kept going. It's interesting, there's a Scot and a Swede, and then there's both. She's been excellent with her iron play. And there's another one that she looks like she likes. Just maybe a tad left. Yeah, good for distance. One win she's got. It was uh, in the Oatlands Pro-Am on the ALPG. Oh, she is looking absolutely sensational, the Scotswoman. A very different look on the face from Momoko Ueda. wonder what do I have to... Guys, second shot on 16. Pardon me, her third shot. 
Just out of the rough. Good shot. Just released a tad, but a good birdie chance. Yeah, I thought Gemma looked really calm on the first. She's just got a fantastic touch around the greens. Now, food away. Third shot at 16. Release, release. Nicely done. That for her third consecutive birdie. Perhaps a little too too late. She has come from absolutely nowhere the last two days. And that's right in the middle. What a great finish that is. And inside the top ten, Trish. Four birdies in her last six holes. Currently she for her chances to make the tour championship as then Grant rolls it in for a par at 14. Keep the second, three shots behind. It's a birdie opportunity for Cannon Nagai, but there's a lot of movement on this short part. Oh, that was good. That is a beautiful read. And a big putt as well, moves within two. Two holes to play. She gets straight in as we watch Lynn Grant. Tee shot on 15. Hit a gem here yesterday. Hit it to three or four feet. Could she do the same? Oh, oh, see, oh my word, it's even closer. This time she's backed off anything today. I hope that doesn't... I don't think it is. I think it's bang, bang at the flag again. I think she loves it. Oh, another sensational shot. That control that she gets with the hybrids, I mean, what weapons they are, particularly in hers as well. I really do add to just what a special event this is in Japan. What a special week it could be for Gemma Drybra. Oh, come on. Oh, beautiful putt. The Scott is in cruise control around the Setter Golf Course. It's now a three-shot lead that she has over Kana. As well. Grant gets to 15 under par. Once again, it's worth mentioning, standing on the ninth tee yesterday, she was four under for the top. Understatement. Par putt for Wader. This is to remain five behind, so she is now six shots behind. She stood on the ninth tee with the lead. Six holes later, she's six back. beautiful that's actually the perfect is being a disaster especially the mindset that she has right now I don't think Wader would have the best mindset no. out there right now which should be completely now that does not look very tasty she's oh, strong no. but it's gone left oh, no. well, that could be the end of her tournament as far as winning is concerned and let's it's a tough one to get the speed right because everything goes away from you at the end of the, at the back of the green here. Yeah, I think she's a bit downheartened, to be honest. I can't blame her. It's all gone a bit pear-shaped. Just when she needed to put the pressure on the leader. She mentioned earlier in the week it was her mum's birthday this weekend, so I wonder how much pressure... Nishimura, currently in a tie for fourth. She's 12 under par. Can she break free? From those three players there's a good chance there so good with the wedges and i know that was coming she's going to shatter that scoring statistic at the bottom there by a long way oh, the hole <laughs> is as big as a bucket the gemma driver who continues to put the foot down <laughs> three birdies in a row no drop shots she is in cruise control Then Grant at 16, Trish, she's found it, but she's got to go through Sherwood Forest. She's done well to find that and to have any sort of shot. Boy, that's a that's tremendous good. escape. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's marvellous. And getting better. OK, now it's very good. <laughs> Which is what it should be. Well, what a birdie from Lynn Grant. <laughs> She knows it too. That's a ridiculous birdie. Trying to lob 
this up in the air, get it to land soft. <laughs> oh, it's another peach. I've lost, I've lost words. I've, the superlatives just can't keep coming. I mean, she's just not hitting any. She's not actually giving the other players a look in. I mean, you shot at 18. At the very least, needs to put this close, make birdie. Yep. And she has done exactly that. What a sensational shot. Bounce. And to get to 20 under par, Drybra. <laughs> you can understand that. That was really, really quick down the hill. The last thing she wanted or needed to do was rush it four feet by. Well, that's what's so clever. She's doing everything she has to do. And obviously, you know, the relationship she has with her caddy, Paul Hesselden, she has a player in her own right, and she now runs the JLPGA. What a great job she's doing. Lynn Grant needs to finish birdie, birdie. This from the right rough at 17. And that might not even be enough there, Ewan. Not with the way that Driver is playing in 22. Now this has to go in. And it's trying. It was on line for Lynn Grant. Just hit the brakes, the final few rolls. So it's going to be a par for the Swede. Trails by three, but only one hole remaining. Most of her golf, we believe it's going to be on the LPGA Tour, but there'll be a lot of invites to play all over the world. Can and the guy off of the cap, and why not a 65? What a wonderful finish from the jack. Here is the leader. It was a tough tee shot here at 17. Well, not too bad. That's no, okay shot for her this is absolutely what she knows Ooh. just get it going bounce up I think she loves it go on just a go little on. heavy but that's a good miss isn't it absolutely it's bang on line again yeah. nothing wrong with that players <laughs> this is a great golf swing Not much can go wrong with it very consistent performer very solid shot stay there stay there What about in? Oh. oh, it's an excellent try, but it's a bit of a knee knocker left. Broke a lot more than oh, I. Didn't it? Just thought. I thought she'd hit that way too far left. So you rock solid. Come on, Gemma. One more really good putt. <laughs> oh, how good was that? That was probably her best stroke of the week, and she's made so many. Oh, that Second shot. Uncharacteristic miss. This is the third. No. No. Really just gives Gemma Driver a lot of breathing space. Coming up 18. <laughs> just like that. <laughs> That'll do. I was going to say one more deep breath. But she's in total control of her emotions today. It's been a stellar performance. Well, second. Yeah, so disappointing, especially after a perfect tee shot. But it's still a brilliant week for the Swede. Four under par halfway through her third round. And she finishes at 15 under par. Marvellous shot, marvellous performance, it just mirrors. This would be a positive note to finish on. Move to 13 under and a share of fourth. It's just not been her day today. Didn't look particularly happy with yesterday, in all honesty, if, you've, if you go by body language at all. And, you know, we tend to, you know, when people are feeling really good about themselves. Gemma's enjoyed the whole experience. You can see that in her body language. The way the yesterday 
as good as she did. She didn't look particularly happy with herself. She's had a tough day, but she'll come back. And a nice gesture to be cleaning it up here as well. And cleans it up for a par, a round of even par, 72, and a share of fifth. This goes in. Oh, never missing. Back-to-back -back 65s on the weekend for Gemma Drybra. And she is your 2022 Toto Japan Classic <laughs> Champion. Wonderful moment. Of course she wasn't missing that. It's been absolutely top class from start to finish. And I bet those players are... Who is this girl? Oh, that's a wonderful moment. Oh, please let that be champagne. <laughs> Seriously. Nice moment, though, from the fellow players to congratulate her. That is fantastic. Gabby Lopez. Emma Tally there as well. Pauline Rousson. Caddies as well. Mikey Scott. That's going to be a very popular victory for Gemma Driver. A four-shot win in the end. 22 birdies and just two bogeys for the entire week. 20 under par and her first LPGA Tour victory.